Hey Sparks, this is day nine of the 30 day video challenge. <laughs> day nine, so today on the calendar, we are answering questions. This is a question that everyone asks me. How do you balance it all? How do you do it all? And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you think that you're gonna balance being a wife, a mother, a lover of God, work, business, passive income, you're never gonna do it. My biggest thing is I search for harmony in my life and not balance because God, work, business, no, 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 no. This girl needs to be higher, right? So search for harmony. Search for seeking God first. Search for serving your family first. And everything else is definitely going to follow. I do recommend time management resources. I'm, I recommend a very direct focus. I recommend that you're intentional uh, with whatever it is that you're doing. Be intentional in your marriage. Be intentional with your time that you spend daily with God your prayer time, your meditation time, your serving time, your giving time, your listening time. So be purposeful. All right, so vegetarianism and veganism and all that good stuff and transitioning, I really did it because I wanted to support my daughter. She's been a vegetarian for three years and on and off a vegan now for a few months, but she's done it for like six months before. And what happened is because I supported her, I would make dishes for my husband and myself and the kids. Then I make her separate vegetarian dishes and the dishes were so good. I'm like, well, why am I eating these dishes when I can eat these dishes? So it's been very easy for me to transition. I raised my children on chicken, beef, no pork, you know, turkey, duck. So it was a very easy transition for them, or actually my oldest, to go into being a vegetarian. She just didn't really care for me. She said I fed them chicken too much. For me, it's a healthier lifestyle. At the end of the day, I'm not tired and groggy. When I eat meat or ate meat, which I don't anymore, I was just tired. And y'all got too much to be doing. If you only like a handful of veggies, eat what you like. You're an adult. That's the best part about being an adult. You know, there's sometimes when I get up in the morning and if I want to eat something sweet, I do. And there's sometimes when I go to a restaurant and I eat my dessert first because I'm an adult. So eat what you want and it's all about a healthier lifestyle for you. Now there are different ways to eat for your blood type. And there are certain blood types where if you went off meat, you would feel groggy. Actually, you, you, you'd feel bad and with meat, you feel good. So. I can suggest that you eat for your blood type and do some research. For my blood type, having a very plant-based diet works very, very well for me. So that's kind of how I transitioned. And I don't eat much dairy. Here and there I will, yet I don't eat much dairy. And I just feel a lot better, y'all. I'm getting older, you know, more mature. And I will tell you, you know, I keep hearing once you get into 40, your metabolism slows. So what I've done is just went on, you know, instead of the defensive, once I get 40, I'm like, oh, I'm on the offensive. And I exercise, I eat healthy, I drink, you know, half my body weight in water and all that good stuff. I absolutely can. And that's getting video marketing for beginners or how to be a YouTube rock star, y'all look. I started teaching classes on this because it really is not difficult to be on YouTube. It really is not difficult to have views and subscribers and commenters, yet you really need to know why you're there and be purposeful. So that's my suggestion. Get enrolled in a course. All of the information is right there uh, in the about section for you. All right, so you all are getting into some coaching questions. I mean, there are many ways to drive traffic back to your site or to have backlinks. You can use social media sites, you can use Twitter, you can use blogging efforts or commenting. Um, even on YouTube, that drives traffic back to your site. But again, that's more into my coaching. If you're interested in that, all of the information is in the about box. And if you're asking about where I purchased all of my products with my natural products company, you need to do some research. Google is your friend. I always say that Google is your friend. Just Google it, you know, and you'll get containers that you need. Do not take vitamins for hair growth, uh, yet I do believe in having your multivitamin. I do like taking chlorophyll. There are some days I take St. John's wort, um, and that's when I feel extra happy. <laughs> uh, what else I take? Um, 
I do Oodles oil blend, but it's not too tasty. So yeah, I take vitamins, but not necessarily for my hair growth. If you're doing everything that you can within your business and you're still not seeing traction, you need a coach. I don't know why, you know, we think that we can be in business and not have some type of advisement. Get a coach, get a business coach. I ran Organic Life Products, it worked well. I had a business coach that I invested in um, through the Small Business Center, University of North Florida. And Kevin there is phenomenal. And I tell you what, he helped me step up the game. He helped me understand some things about, you know, my direction with the nonprofit and why I needed to go more of a for-profit and put this one on the back burner. Then I invested in a coach that was online that was making multiple millions of dollars. And I went into an upper level coaching program, got into a mastermind program. I make significant financial investments in coaching. I mean, what I pay, I don't have a car payment. But let's put it like this, if I did what I pay monthly, invest monthly for a coach, it would be two car payments. Uh, it is your life and if you want your business to succeed, you have to invest in a business coach. You just, you can't make it on your own. Driving traffic, creating content, understanding copy, understanding marketing, getting in a group with people that are big thinkers, visionaries, people serious about success. You have to put yourself in a position to win. My husband and I had a brick and mortar. And I know exactly why it failed from the business plan aspect, from young in our marriage, from you know investing in a living social coupon, which was horrible. Living social sucks, never paid us our money. Uh, so you really want to be in a position where you're winning. And I'd say get not a mentor, get a business coach that you financially invest in. That is my best advice. You will definitely see your business go to new heights as long as you take action and as long as you implement you will definitely see results okay so separating home and business uh let's let's take this from two different components so let's use business as my day career and let's use business as what i do outside of my day career with my own companies how do I separate this business? Look, once the clock hits my time, when I'm done, I'm done. I don't even think about it anymore, and I'm serious about that. There is a very distinct, clear disconnect. Once you leave that office, you need to be done, unless you are invested in that career and you don't have an outside business. If you are investing in your career and you don't want it to be done, then you should be learning in that career. You should be taking classes in that career. You should be going to meetups in that career. Because I'm telling you, it's a network and it's all about who you know. And when we come over here to my personal businesses, my teaching online, my coaching online, my social networking and media, it's become a part of who I am. Even here, I will tell you, I am, with what I do with my role, IT security analyst, we go in and we're looking for gaps. I, I concentrate on information security, technology, data inflows, ingress, egress. You know, I have to understand, you know, MPI or non-public information. I have to understand these things within our business units. So there, what I focus on more is understanding what I do and being very good at it. The other thing is I focus on sharing God's love and spreading love that way. I'm very kind and you know, our people are extremely smart. I work with a lot of people that have masters and PhDs, so it's a different focus. For my companies and business, it's not so clear a disconnect because it's part of who I am. The kids are involved, you know, my husband's involved, you know, I put pictures on Instagram. Social media has really evolved into part of me. I do disconnect as far as, you know, reading books, reading and doing things I enjoy, making sure I get out and you know have dates and time and fun with my family. That's another clear disconnect. As far as staying with my company so long, um, when I was young, you know what, just quite frankly, I made a lot of bad choices financially, meaning student loans. You know, I had my first child when I was 19 years old. So for me, you know, it's just been not an option to leave corporate America before debts were paid and there were responsibilities that were taken care of. You know, my kids never asked to come into this world. I brought them into this world. I wanted them in this world with me. I adore them. And they're used to a certain level of life with our lifestyle. So I wanted to keep that. I mean, I don't have a Tyler Perry story where I slept in my car, I made it stardom. Hi, Mr. Tyler Perry. Uh, yet I would love that, but I tell you what, I'm not gonna sleep in my car and sacrifice my kids, you know, their health, emotional well-beings. The other thing is I've stayed in the same company 
I have not stayed in the same position. I've been a corporate trainer, I've been in disaster recovery, I've been in business continuity, and I'm currently in information security. I've been with my company um, nearly 10 years, but not in the same position. And if you've been in the same position for 10 years, ooh wee, I do not recommend that every two to three years, I get out of the department I'm in because you're gonna get a pay increase and you also wanna be challenged. I get bored easily with work. I've taken some um, Colby test, if you've ever heard of the Colby test. And for what comes naturally to me, only comes natural 5% of the population. So for me, I'll get bored and move along. So that's one of the reasons why I have stayed with my company because I've had the opportunity to go to different departments to work. Find what he's interested in and show an interest. My husband and I do share our online interests. We both have Mac computers, but you know, we're different. You know, he's more into technological, you know, how the computer works, I'd say, type of things, you know. Whereas for me, because I have the day job that focuses on that, I'm more into, you know, results, fast results, passive income streams and coaching and building more of the foundation or the money tree and the branches off of. So you'll grow. Make sure that you're showing interest. Make sure that you pray a lot. Make sure that you read books focused on your marriage. And, um, you know, just expect God's best. It's just not going to be easy every day because if it was, everyone would be married and they'd stay married. So don't focus on what's wrong. Focus on what's right. It will definitely help you. And it's helped me grow so much within my marriage. So I hope that helps. you stay motivated you need to spend a lot of time with God you need to spend a lot of time encouraging other people and you need to recognize that there are gonna be some days where you're just like oh not today I don't want to get out the bed I'm a little tired whatever the case may be and whenever I have felt like that in the past I'll look at my vitamins I'll look at my food intake I'll look at who's around me what type of conversations am I having Yet, you have to recognize that every day is not going to be this bright, amazing day. You have to make it that way. You have to make that conscious choice. Because this flesh here, oh, it's going to be like, mm -mm, don't do that. Mm -mm, don't work today. Mm -mm, you don't want to. Yes, you do. So again, it's about making a conscious choice. It's about being connected with people that are winners. Um, make sure that you're in a safe place when you do feel like that. You're in a mastermind group that people have invested in, not a free group on Facebook where everyone's just jumping in because it's free. Get some place where people have invested in a group. I'm telling you, you'll see such a big change. You don't see everyone in there answering questions, wasting time. You see people that are there sincerely to help you. They're making a significant investment. And that will help keep you encouraged along the way. The other thing is, as uh, far as the motivation is concerned, if you're doing this one thing, then you need to branch out and do something else. If you can achieve making $1,000 or $1,500 a month on eBay, my daughter sells on eBay and she's making a ton of money, then now it's time to branch out and teach people eBay. It's time to do something different. Mix it up. You don't want to eat the same food every day. So you don't want to do the same thing every day. God created you uniquely. You're creative. You're amazing. You're a masterpiece. So look for new, different, unique things. Get out of the mundane, get out of the routine, and find a way to branch off into something else. Create some type of information product. Create some type of class. Create some type of ebook. And I don't know if you're thinking this, but I'm going to say it. What if somebody else has already done it? So what? Okay? Everything has already been done. But you just need to do it better. Okay, that's what you need to do. I tell my kids all the time, it needs to just be 10 times better and you're gonna be better than most because you're gonna beat average and you'll probably be the best. Yay, I answered all the questions. This is a little longer video, but it's fun. So that's it, y'all. I'm getting ready to go eat me some food. I will talk with y'all soon. Thanks for hanging out with me with day nine of the 30 day video challenge where I answer questions from y'all. So if you have any more questions, as always, leave them. I'll answer them when I can or I'll comment below. You guys are amazing and you rock. And I'll talk with you soon. Peace, y'all.